a man is facing a long road to recovery after he was beaten and left in an alley in West Hollywood. Alberto Vasquez, he was supposed to be meeting some friends at a bar, but he never made it. And tonight, police are still looking for his attacker. Our Chris Wolf has reaction from the victim's family in Beverly Grove. 53-year-old California native Alberto Vasquez has dedicated his life to making people look and feel their best. He's described as a beloved, respected hairstylist who includes celebrities among his clients, in addition to having traveled the world to fix hair for fashion models in places like Paris and New York. But it will be a long time before Alberto is able to grasp the tools of his trade and work his own special magic. He is recovering at Cedars Sinai Medical Center following brain surgery as a result of a brutal beating in West Hollywood. Alberto Vasquez was hitting the clubs in the Rainbow District, known for its vibrant nightlife, early Friday evening, April 5th. Friends and family say he was leaving a place called Heart Weho Nightclub around 8 p.m., headed to meet friends nearby, but never made it. Instead, a passerby found his unconscious body in a parking lot next to Hart and called for help. Vasquez would be in the hospital five days before a nurse answered his cell phone and spoke with a family member. Those close to the victim say questions around the case are swirling. Who did this and why? However, they have some theories. We feel it's gay bashing. Um, he did not get robbed. He's got injuries all over his body, his neck, that 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 hit, uh, punch to his face. You can tell, you know, it was on the eye. Sister Gloria Jimenez explains doctors had to remove a piece of Alberto's skull to relieve pressure from a swollen brain. We don't know if he'll ever be the same. He's uh, the type of guy that wouldn't harm anyone. Uh, we, we know this for a fact. I mean, he, he's, he's harmless and, and to leave them like almost for dead is, is just awful. Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.